You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about Naomi Osaka. We all know what happened at the French Open last year. Naomi Osaka did not want to speak to the media because of mental health. And ever since then, guys, it has been going downhill for her. She's actually stopped playing tennis a couple of times uh, during that stretch. And I said, man, it's over for Naomi Osaka. And yet again, I am proven right yet again. Because Naomi Osaka just played at Indian Wells in uh, California. And she flamed out. She lost in straight sets. But that's not the story that she lost. I already predicted, man, that she probably was not going to really win much again because you cannot be a part time player on the tour. It does not work. And she's actually had more meltdowns, it seems, than victories. So at Indian Wells, a fan heckled her during the match. Now, she was on serve. And when you actually serve in tennis, the crowd is supposed to be quiet. But. A heckler said something and she melted down. She melted down. Now, she was already down 3-0 in the first set. But then when the heckler heckler actually uh, said something, she actually wanted to go over to the umpire's microphone and address the crowd. Folks, that was not going to happen. Check this out. Naomi Osaka brought to tears by heckler at Indian Wells. Naomi Osaka's match at Indian Wells took an ugly turn when a heckler made an appearance on Saturday. Naomi, you suck. A woman from the audience shouted during Osaka's first set um, against Veronica Kudermintova. I'm probably mispronouncing the name. Uh, The insult was met with jeers from fellow spectators and appeared to rattle the four-time Grand Slam champion. Osaka trailed 3-0 in the first set when she pleaded with the chair umpire to address the audience. So she got triggered by Naomi, you suck. That's it. These athletes, man, are just so weak today. So weak. But Naomi Osaka said this, quote, can I borrow your microphone? Osaka asked. I just want to say something. I'm not going to curse. I don't curse. It's just weighing on my heart. So she was triggered so much. By this person saying, Naomi, you suck. That she wanted to address the crowd in the middle of a match. This is ridiculous, guys. Osaka, however, wasn't permitted to use the microphone. Tournament officials determined they find and eject the heckler. If the match was interrupted a second time, the heckler was kept at bay as Osaka finished the match. The 24-year-old dropped the first set. Sits. Oh, oh, my God. She loses the net set, sits four, ending her run in the round of 64 at the California-based tournament. And Naomi Osaka, man, ever since, she became extremely weak-minded, didn't want to talk to the media, wanted to become a part-time player. Her game has suffered massively. Folks, this is her ranking now. This woman actually used to be number one in the world. Naomi Osaka is ranked number 78 in the world. 78. Folks, I do believe, man, she's going to retire sometime this year. I truly do believe this, man. She can't take any criticism. But however, after the loss, she was actually allowed to address the crowd. And usually the losing player does not address the crowd. And she just cries. So let's play this, guys. Now, what's interesting is, guys, is that pretty much the whole crowd is supporting her. Only one person heckled her and she got triggered. Well, you can say that again. I just wanted to say, um, yeah. <laughs> um, to be honest, <laughs> it, I've gotten heckled this 
before, like it didn't really bother me. But um, it's like heckled here. Like I've watched a video of Venus and Serena getting heckled here. And if you've never watched it, you should watch it. And I don't know why, but like it, it went into my head and I it got replayed a lot. Um, I'm trying not to cry, but. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you and um, congratulations. Mm, yeah, just thank you. I can tell you that on behalf of everybody here, that uh, out of about 10,000 people, one person's voice can't weigh out 9,999 others. And we love you here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Naomi Osaka. OK, so there you see it, guys. She is walking off the court. Another loss. She is so mentally fragile, folks. I don't think she can ever recover. I don't. Now, she brought up the um, Serena Williams and Venus Williams incident that happened 21 years ago, folks, 21 years ago. And it was much worse than what um, she dealt with here with just one heckler. Hecklers happen in all sports. Now. We've seen what happened in the NBA. You got hecklers all throughout the NBA, uh, especially this season, and it's much worse. But she brought up this incident here. Now, this was um, from last November, but the incident happened in 2001. It says Serena Williams still traumatized by Indian Wells incident. Now, here's the thing. At Indian Wells in 2001, Elena Dementieva was accusing Serena Williams' father, Richard Williams, of basically manipulating matches between Serena and Venus. Now, Serena and Venus were, were actually supposed to uh, play a semifinals match against each other. And then Venus withdrew with a knee injury minutes before their match. And therefore, Serena ended up going to the finals against Kim Clijsters. And when Venus and um, Richard Williams were actually entering the stadium, they were booed. The whole crowd was booing. Serena got booed. But guess what, guys? Serena, even though she was getting booed, guess what? She won the match. She was able to overcome that. Naomi Osaka, man, is just so fragile, man. I don't believe she's ever going to recover. She is so weak, man. And the media, man, is just giving her pass at the pass at the pass. I would highly suggest... That she just retired. I really do. Remember, she actually said before, you know, she was going to take time off to focus on her mental health and come to find out she was doing nothing but uh, photo shoots and stuff like that to promote her own self, her own brand. She, she doesn't really want to play anymore. She already said that she wasn't having fun. So why even continue to play? I mean, why would she even bring up this incident with Serena and uh, Venus? Now, Richard Williams said that. um that um, people were actually uh, giving him racial slurs during that match. And I must say, if they did, those people should have been kicked out. That's un unacceptable. That is inexcusable. But Naomi Osaka wasn't getting nearly that kind of backlash from the crowd. Everybody was supporting her. Just one person said, Naomi, you suck. And that was it. Wow. Th she is just so weak minded, guys. So weak minded. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.